Alright guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video here on the Hashtag United channel. You may have seen last year, we did a video which was a lot of fun, which was our draft, fancy football, a little experiment, okay? And we're doing it again this year. Uh, if you missed last year's, why not check it out? But there's a few things that have changed since last year. The guys at Draft Fantasy Football, we're big fans of. We've done a, I mean, I've done a load of different drafts on that website now. Uh, they've added a few features this year, which I think makes it even better. So if you don't know what Draft Fantasy Football is, it, it's basically where you've got some guys here from Hashtag, you'll see in a minute, you may recognise. It's where no one person can have the same player. So unlike traditional things, which is more of a salary cap model, this does not allow anyone to share a player. So you've got to think really carefully about every single pick you do. And it means no one else can have that player, so it makes it unique to you. But also, it means you can trade. Be like a proper football manager. You can trade between not only other people in the league, which is not something you can do in a lot of the other draft uh, fantasy football services. It's unique to this one. Um, but also, you could get things called waivers, where players that maybe come in for a transfer, a new, new signing to the league, or whatever, someone that wasn't picked in the first draft, you can pick them up. Okay, So there's all these things that make it very intricate. You've got to know your stuff. Um, we're doing it fairly early on in the summer. That's only to give you guys a chance to get on board as well and make your leagues and get involved. So we'll leave a link in the description to the Draft Fantasy Football website. It's got an app as well, which uh, has come along since last year. It's added a little bit more fun to it. Get involved with all those things. Check out the links in the description. There's also a few new features this year. Okay, One particularly that I like called the Kante Rule. Why is it called the Kante Rule? Because Kante plays in a position which in fantasy football often doesn't get the points it deserves. You know, CDM, if you want to call it like that. Um, Tackles, interceptions, all these things which are what Kante is so good at, and lots of other players as well, huge in football, not really getting the points to them. So traditionally people wouldn't be picking players like that. We've activated the Kante rule. You can choose to activate it or choose not to. We've activated it. So CDMs and players that are doing the dirty side of football are still worth getting in your team. We've also activated bonus points, which means they pick some of the best performing players each week and give them bonus points. So a few more layers have been added since last season. We're going to do our picks very shortly. So, we've got a lot of the same people from last year, including Paul Nash from Hashtag, who won the league last year. He smashed it, okay? Faisal Manager Magic came second. Uh, and uh, James Lovett, who's not here, but he's going to be playing remotely from home, came third. He stayed in the league. We've also got Sebi Boy. We've got the big man, James Stevens. We've got me. We've got Adam Boltwood, who I'm sure you've seen. Uh, often doesn't get in front of the camera for Hashtag, but he's here now. He's getting involved. Probably going to pick loads of Spurs players. Um, <laughs> we've also got, we've also got Phil Martin, Sammy, Carr. Uh, am I forgetting anyone? Jack, Yage, Jack Harrison. Loads of guys playing remotely. We're going to try and get a Skype call going. Some of them actually making their picks live at the draft with us. Uh, some are just going to something, something called an auto pick, which is where you line up your picks beforehand if you can't make it on the night. You don't have to do it like this with people in a room with your food and all that stuff. I think it's a bit of a, a cool night in though, a cool way to do it. So we like doing it like this, but you can just do it online. If you want to do it with your mates and you live in different areas or whatever, that's fine too. So boys, are we ready? I'm ready mate, we're going to just about. I'm actually quite hot. Huh? <laughs> no? Hernandez, the first uh, pick. Uh, we've, got, <laughs> we've got 13 of us going uh, all together in this draft. It's random order, so it's gonna, as soon as I click start, it will randomly uh, pick an order for the draft. And if you get 13th pick, you're a bit unlucky, but then you'll get the first pick of next round that tries to even it out. One thing I'll say, this year, should we try and make an effort to do more transfers? No one wanted to do any business with me last year, boys. <laughs> your trades you're offering were absolutely outrageous. I was offering some good deals. Yeah, you were offering yeah, you're offering good deals. Great deals, mate. No, but no, we'll no. see what happens there, won't we? But I think we're ready. Right, should we get a Skype going and then we'll uh, see what we can do? Okay. 2017, 2018, fantasy draft. We've got Robbie E and Phil Martin on Skype. Say hello, boys. And we are ready to do some business. I'm going to kick the start draft bar and it's going to uh, set the random draft order. Good luck, guys. 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 May the best man win. Here we go. Start draft. Bang. Ah! Oh, the and Lightning Bolt, aka Adam Boltwood, has the first pick. Oh, I'm second. Steven's I have second. Do. I have third. I okay. Tenth okay. oh, pick in the draw. Jesus. Who's so got the last pick? Last pick oh, is Love It. Second to last is Mange Dog. It's all over. Boltwood's first pick will be who? He's got 26 seconds to choose him. He has gone with Harry Kane. He went with Kane, didn't he? Kane is gone, guys. Kane is That's gone. Guys. That's it's a big name gone, and do it. James Stevens our second pick. Who will it be, and why? Shocking, to be honest with you. It's got to be Rooney. Yeah. Um, you got seven seconds, mate. Yeah. Uh, picked. 
Where's the gun from? I think. Oh. No, I think. De Bruyne. Okay. Wow. Big shot. So I'm making the third pick. It's always Belgian, boys. It's always a Belgian. Gaku. Romelu Lukaku. Welcome. Oh, that's your rain out time, mate. I know, I'm trying. I think. You went with De Gea. Oh, okay, good. Oh, got you, you click draft rather than like, pick. Yeah, draft yeah. picks them and add put them in the A dink has picked. Lacazette. Jesus. Lacazette, it's Sanchez, Morata and Deli Alli have all got an auto pick. <laughs> Gabriel Jesus for Seb's first pick. Big bold. Interesting. Very, very wow. Sammy E caught up now. I think he's playing live, but he's not on Skype for some reason. He's gone with Mane, his mm. first pick. He's gone with Ozil. Wait, he's dodgy. Is he even going to be there? Is he going to be there? Who else is going to be there? Who's going to be out? Ico. Yeah. Probably Ico. Well, well, Kante, go. Pogba, Corsair, Hazard, all gone. Hazard. Wijnaldum, gone. Hernandez, welcome. Oh, we're just going with all the Real Spurs. <laughs> You're going to use it your first Real Spurs, then we can do Speed it up, Boltwood. Stephen, your last pick will be who? It's going to be... Stecklenburg. Okay. I keep scrolling over the draft button. Got a goalkeeper spot. It's between four people. No one gone with Bravo, interestingly. He could, if the other new people <laughs> doesn't work out, he could come in. I'm going with Brighton's record transfer signing, Matt Ryan. Right. They can't see a lot of goals, but he's my backup. So I'll take it. Begovic. That's actually quite good, because he's got Bournemouth, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah, defence is quite good. It's a good shout. There's so many good players that one pick, by the way. If your team's done, start writing it out, and we're done. The draft is finished. Right, we're all going to write our teams down here, and then we'll walk you through our choices in a second. Starting off with Team Spencer FC, uh, I'm obviously going to change who starts and the formation we play from week to week, but going with a 4 4 2 here. Joe Hart in goal, West Ham's own. Uh, in defence, we've got Van Arnholt, does tend to get points from the back if he can get forward in the Crystal Palace team. Mustafi of Arsenal, McCauley of West Brom loves a goal from a corner. Uh, Danilo, who might not start for City when they've got Walker and they've got Mendy, but he can also play centre mid. And the defender playing in midfield could mean pure points. Uh, in midfield, we've got a 4 4 2 sort of thing going on right now. Joe Allen, who with the Kante rule, could pick up a lot of points. He loves to tackle, he loves an interception. Andros Townsend, Shakiri, hoping he will get, if he plays, I think he gets points, it's whether he keeps fit. A couple of players from Stoke, maybe the only downside there. Adam Lalana from Liverpool, had a great year last year. Up front, the best bet of this team, Chicharito and Lukaku. That is a dynamite strike force. On the bench, we have got Ryan, the Brighton goalkeeper from Australia. We've got Son Hyun Min, who this year is a midfielder. Last year I had him in my team, and he was a forward. And he tends to, he often comes on to help Harry Kane, or when Harry Kane's not playing, he, he can play up front. So I'm hoping that he gets some more points from me. Uh, Rondon is my striker sub from West Brom, and Francis, another Bournemouth option at the back. Pretty happy with the side, no complaints really. Right, reigning champion of this, but a bit nervous going in as I wasn't first pick. Um, so, I went goalie first as all the top strikers were going. David De Gea. Planning to build from the back this year. We played five there. Hector Bellerin, David Luiz, Michael Keane over at Everton, Johnny Evans, West Brom's pretty solid, and Joel Matip at Liverpool. The new Kante rule was factoring in hard, so I got old Ander Herrera. Attacking wise, Juan Mata, Tadic, and Pedro. Gabbiadini up top. A little bit light up there, so um, yeah, hopefully you know, it'll come good. It's semi-decent. So Etienne Capu, again going with the whole Kante rule. Lark, he's a good tackler. I've got a bit of a gamble on Wilfred Boney, hoping he goes to Swansea. Uh, Mitrovic, I mean, if he doesn't get sent off, then he might bang a few goals in. And uh, backup keeper, Begovic. No one wanted him, I had him. Cheers, boys. Tenth pick in the draft, but I think I've salvaged it. Quite happy with the boys. Pair checking goal. 
Uh, my starting team is going to see Cresswell, Danny Blind, and Danny Rose. Hopefully, when he gets back from his injury. Uh, four in the middle, Richie, who I'm hoping is going to get a lot of game time and take set pieces. Then very attacking, Hazard, Mares could leave. We have to see how that monitors that situation closely. Antonio, who's going to hopefully score the most heavy goals in Europe again. Jesus, Rooney, Benteke up front. The bench is a little weak, I'm not going to lie to you. We've got Moy and Smith, both um, a set piece takers for their club, so I'm hoping when they do get some game time for me, they're going to whip in some corners from some assists or free kicks. Dawson and Elliot, the Newcastle goalkeeper. I'm pleased to take Right, I was second in the pick, um, in the draft, sorry, and I panicked. Um, I seem to have gone for quite a strong midfield again, which got me uh, second bottom last year, so hopeful again. Um, I've got Forster in goal, Otamendi and Ward, um, and then Peters and Fuchs uh, to complete the defensive uh, wall. Um, Wanyama, Chan, KDB, Coutinho and Sterling in the midfield, so fingers crossed they bag me some points. Um, and Vardy up top, and I've got Holobas, uh, Sturridge and Batshuayi on the bench, so... Who knows? Basically, I shocked game. everyone with my first pick, Harry Kane. Had to be done one season wonder. He's going to bag me with a goal. <laughs> got a little Spurs spine going on. We've got Toby at the back. We've got Dembele in the middle. The Kante was going to come in. Uh, I think I did all right, actually. I've got Salah and Zaha on the wide, on the midfield. Bernardo Silva, I think, do very well in Premier League. He's in there as well. Jordan Henderson, Kante Royal again, giving me some points. Stones at the back. We'll see about that. Van Dijk, I'm hoping he's going to move to another Premier League club, so I think he can be decent. Heaton and goal, making all the saves. And you can actually up front with Kane and then carry Suarez down and uh, Riven on the bench, so not bad. Right, Manchester get FC. Butland in goal. I third he's alright, probably not the best. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I put him right back. I think he'll do okay. Black. <laughs> Bally, Bally, Bailey, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Decent addition to United, more of the same. Montreal. Um, I think he'll play more of a centre back role for Arsenal for three. Just put him in there slow and steady. Baines, he takes a few set pieces, might do okay. I've activated the Shelby rule, which everyone ignored, so hashtag Voldemort that. Um, Cadley, interesting. Sane, had a good last season. I think he'll do well. Ozil, hmm, interesting. With Lacazette, he might get a few more assists. And up front, the dream team. Firmino and Defoe. On the bench, Shawcross, got good cross. Welbeck, uh, just that guy. Snodgrass, uh, football's played on grass, that's in his name. And uh, Pantillamon, sounds a bit like a Pokemon, so I thought it'd be good to call. That's good. <laughs> so good teams there, I think Jack Harrison, who did quite well last year as well, of the lads that wasn't here tonight, his squad could be the strongest, so definitely one to watch. He's sneaky, Jack Harrison, isn't he? He's sneaky. Very sneaky. Right guys, that is it for our draft. We use the Draft Fantasy Football website uh, and the app, of course, to do this. We recommend you get involved. It's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed this, but really, it's the next few months that are going to decide what happens because we've got some good teams, but there's transfers to do, there's deals amongst each other, there's picking up new signings that come in. I mean, imagine if Man City signed Mbappe. Who's going to get Mbappe? That's huge, right? So you've got to be on the buzzer and ready to rock. Um, make sure you get involved in the description. Get yourself a little league going. These are all free to play, but they may also be bringing in some paid leagues in the future. If you really back yourself and you want to pick up some money, you can go week to week or you can go season long. There's also something called the auction, which is a different way of doing things where you actually bid and the highest bidder gets the player they want. It's still draft style, so no one has the same player. So I personally, having played pretty much all forms of fantasy football, this, this is the best. This is the most fun, the most rewarding. You pick your team and you stand by it. And if it's not working out, you do some deals. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, drop a like if you have. Subscribe for more. And until next time, don't forget to hashtag it. <laughs>